In this video, we are going to calculate the velocity. Not the velocity, the acceleration. Okay, and that's going to be the total acceleration. So let's look at the theory. The theory is basically saying that our total acceleration here is going to be the tangential acceleration, which can be calculated using this formula, and the radial acceleration, which can be calculated using this formula. Since we don't speed this object up, okay, there's not going to be any radial acceleration. I mean, there's not going to be any um, tangential uh, acceleration. So we can put that in, but we know that alpha is equal to zero, and so a sub t is going to be zero. So the only thing that we'll, we're going to end up needing, let me just go ahead and put, up, uh, put in tangential acceleration. And this is going to be in uh, tangential acceleration. That should be in meters per second squared. And then we're going to have radial we're going to have radial acceleration radial acceleration so and that's going to be in That should as well be in meters per second. Squared. Okay. So tangential acceleration, according to the theory, is going to be zero since there was no speed up. So let's just go ahead and put zero in. And then radial acceleration, according to the theory, is going to be the tangential velocity squared over r. We already have that information. Or um, it's the angular acceleration squared over times r. We have that information as well. So we're going to say that this is equal to I'll go over here. We have our angular acceleration squared times the radius. And we didn't necessarily uh, take the average of the radius, but we're going to do it now. So I'm just going to say uh, average, A, P, E, R. So the average of the radius, and here's our radius here. And I'll just drag down calculate that radius. Oh, too far. Back up. I can stop right here. So now, ooh, uh, yeah, so that's going to be our average radial. All right. Uh, I say average, but that's going to be our radial acceleration. So what we're ultimately trying to get is total acceleration or the resultant acceleration meters per second squared. So we know that that's just going to be Pythagorean's theorem right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this. I could easily go over here and copy one of these, but let's go ahead and just write it in. This is going to equal to the square root S cubed RT times our tangential acceleration it's just going to be 0 squared plus our radial acceleration squared. 
and we end up with our resultant acceleration being 35. So I can hide these two columns. We know that the calculation is there. These are the um, two things that we were actually that we're actually going to compare. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some borders around there. And then the next video, what I'll do is I'll just take the data um, from the other two, and I'm going to pull them into this particular uh, workbook. And I say the other two, but the, the rotational motion at the second piece of tape or at a different location along the rod and then at the edge of the rod.